Sixth grade. Uh, we're going to be talking about comparing fractions and putting numbers in order. What does it mean in order? What do you think the order is that we're talking about? Least to greatest or greatest to least. Right, least to greatest or greatest to least. So in other words, on a number line, the value of the number on a number line. Okay? Now, if I were to take some money out of my pocket and I were to offer you, Jeremiah, two bills and Carson one bill, which would you rather have? You would? Are you sure? Well, no. It depends what the, what the bill is. <laughs> Which one do you want? You sure? Mm. Well, what if the two bills are two ones and the one bill that I'm giving him is a five? <laughs> So what do you need to know? Are these the same? Is the two bigger than one automatically? Yeah. No. No. What does have? Yeah. What's different about them? The cost, the amount. The amount, but why? Because there's different bills. Because there's different bills. We call those denominations. If they were the same denomination. If they were all $5 bills and I gave, offered you two and you won, you would know, oh, that's, I'll take that, right? But if you don't know what the denomination is, then you can't compare just two of something and one of something else, right? You have to have it in the same form. And that's the concept here. Look at this. Two-thirds versus two-fifths. Well, they're both two. They're both two pieces, but which is lower, which is less? Zoe. Which is less? Follow along. Which is less? Two thirds or two fifths? Is that less? Two fifths is less, isn't it? Why? Exactly. Exactly. Two thirds is more than half. Two fifths is less than half. The this is a, these are smaller pieces, aren't they? The fifths are smaller pieces than the thirds. Remember, the higher the denominator in a fraction, the smaller the size of the pieces. Right? Now, you would use this symbol then, the greater than symbol. The greater than symbol points to the right. It means that two-thirds is to the right of two-fifths on a number line. The less than sign points to the what? To so the left. Remember, left, less. The less than sign points to the left. The greater than sign points to the right. And you always want to put the sign in that makes the sense. Makes sense. Two thirds is greater than two fifths. This is a sentence. Okay? So, how do you put numbers in order? You have to compare them in the same form. Look, you have to put them all into decimal form, which is what you did in the last lesson. Or you have to put them all into fraction form with a common denominator. Does it have to be the lowest common denominator? No, nope, just any common denominator. Look at, let's take it back and look at two thirds and two fifths. What is the, What's a common multiple of 3 and 5? So we look at our denominators, 3 and 5, 
and Brett, what would we, what could we use to compare these? Change thirds and fifths to what common denominator? Fifteen. Fifteenths. We're going to find an equivalent fraction that's in fifteenths. So, we did this before. How do you get from 3 to 15? Max? Times 5. Times 5, which is 10. How do you get from 5 to 15? Abby? Times 3. Times 3, which is 6. Now we can compare 10 fifteenths and 6 fifteenths, which is less. Cal? Six fifteenths is less, yep. Six fifteenths. Okay? And that's what you're going to be doing for next time. That, that was the study guide for our next test. So, um, go up to your worksheet. They've given you some numbers at the bottom of RW31. And so, let's look at what we have to do here. First they give you four elevenths, and then there's a, a space and two elevenths. Tell me about these fractions, Lindsay. Cool. Not right now. We <laughs> use something else. Here. Don't get up out of your seat without raising your hand and waiting for permission, and certainly don't start sharpening your pencil in the middle while I'm teaching. Okay? Cool. Lindsay, tell me about these fractions. What's that bottom number called? Starts with a D. What is it? The denominator. Yep. So, can we tell which one is bigger? Can you tell which one is bigger? How do you know? Because they have the same denominator. That means that this, if they have the same denominator, that means these pieces, the four pieces and the two pieces, are all the same size. Okay? And if you have four, that's bigger than two. So four elevenths is greater than, we point it to the right, because that shows greater than. Four elevenths is greater than two elevenths. Number two, five sevenths and five sixths. Can we tell which one is greater? Mm -hmm. Emily, can we tell? Um, no. Yeah, but we can because of our first example. Which one has bigger pieces? The sixth or the seventh? Which have bigger pieces, the bigger size. Sixths are bigger than sevenths. So if we take a, a whole pizza, we cut it into seven pieces, those pieces are going to be smaller than if we cut it into six pieces. Okay? So if we have five out of seven, that's less than five out of Six. Okay. Five sevenths is less than five sixths. Okay. Number three. Twenty seven percent and 
we have to com com uh, we have to compare them using the same form. Are these in the same form? No. No. So we have to convert one of them. Convert them to a decimal form. Okay, convert them to decimal form. Or you can convert this to uh, to percent form. So we can either look at these and say, well, 27% is less than 30%. 0.3 is 30%. We move the decimal place over two places to get 30%. Or 0 0.3, 3 tenths, is greater than, and if we move this over, we convert it to a decimal, 0 0.27. So 27 hundredths is less than what, Roy? Less than 27%. Less Twenty-seven hundredths is less than uh, 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 three tenths. Three tenths. Yep. Let's do the next one, number four. Nine tenths and four fifths. Right? Oh, no, I'm sorry, four twenty-fifths. What do we have to do here? This one is, this one, if you think about it, this one will be easy because of this question. Is this, is this more, whoops, more or less than half? Is this more or less than half? Less, way less, right? A lot less. Is nine tenths more or less than half? What is this as a fraction? Nine out of ten. Nine tenths. Is this more or less than? What would half of tenths be? Five tenths. This is nine tenths. So this is way more, a lot more. So which one is bigger? Nate. Nine tenths. Nine tenths, nine -tenths is greater than four twenty-fifths. Sometimes you can look at the fractions and ask yourself, is one more than half and one less than half? Because if so, then we know that one is more. Now, if both are less than half, or both are more than half, then we'll have to use a common denominator, like you did in that first example. Okay? You can also use that in determining least to greatest. For example, let's see, um, well, let's do number five. One more example, and then I'll let you start on this on your own. Number five, eight, three, eights, five, sixteenths, and one, four. Now, are all of these more than half or less than half? They're all what? They're all less than half, aren't they? So we can't use that. But we're going to have to put these into a common denominator, into the same denominator. Emily, what should we use? Sixteenths? Good. So let's convert fourths to sixteenths and eighths to sixteenths. Right? What do we have to do for this one? Times 
times 4. So that's 4 sixteenths. And times 2. So you get 6 sixteenths. So 6 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths, and 4 sixteenths. Now we have to put these in order. Which is the lowest? Which is the lowest? One fourth. Yep. So for for least to greatest, and that, that's what they're asking for. One fourth is the lowest. Then what? So we of the ones that are circled. Use the numbers given. Which one is next? The next highest? Four, five, six. Which is the next highest? After four sixteenths is five sixteenths. And then 6 sixteenths, which we have to reduce to 3 eighths. Yep. Okay? So by putting them in order, sometimes you'll have to use a common denominator. Sometimes you'll have to put them in decimal form. Sometimes you can tell by asking more or less than half. Okay? Alright, that's how you compare numbers.